York can take their time here and get a good shot. You don't want to force anything. Jones elevating over Collier. Just a little cold right now from the field, New York. And Minnesota trying to break a streak of five minutes without a field goal. Stewart, the duck in, wow. holds her space. Largest lead of the evening by the Liberty at seven. It's timely two with 2.45 to go. I did not think that Laney Hamilton pass was going to zip in there, and boy, it did. Well, she gets the assist, and now a steal on the other end. The all-defensive player showing up when it matters. Thebish was big time the other night. This time they go to Jones. Laney Hamilton left alone. But the key here has also been New York's defense. They have gotten all these stops and then continue to score some. That's a good recipe. Six steals so far this evening by New York. Bridget Carlton back in the basketball game. Smith tries to go downhill. McBride, one dribble pull up. Long shot, long rebound. Yonescu goes after it. Nice hustle there, and that's what the guards have to do. A guard has to seek after the long shots, and Yonescu did that. Now they can take their time. This is a horn set. Yonescu using the screen from Stewart. She picks and pops and drives. Great protection of the rim there by Nafisa Collier. And Benajia Laney Hamilton with this pass, this was just showing some strength right here. I didn't think that was making it, but Brianna Stewart caught it. It was in the perfect spot for her to catch it and go up strong. And then this was that last play, Collier with the block. Ball Three. stays here. Three seconds on the shot clock. McBride was hit in some way. She's holding her face. The game keeps moving. Still up by seven. And they're gonna play it out for sure. I don't think they're, they're starting to foul. Well, that'll put New York at the free throw line. They had no more fouls to give. So Yonescu walks to the free throw line. And Minnesota has had seven minutes without a point. That's what, that's looking back what could be the, the factor in this in this game in terms of winning. Last time these two teams met, Minnesota was able to, to offensively go on a run in the fourth quarter and New York couldn't score. With the way New York plays, the competitive nature of all the players in the W, I mean, to, to try and beat a team three times. Yeah, I was just going to say, Zora, we both played yeah, yeah, I don't know how that was going to go. I was just going to say that, and it, it's the truth. It's hard to, it is. Very tough to, to win three times. Still a minute and seven seconds to go. But New York is looking good on a 13 to zero run in clutch time. The Liberty move over to my nine for a matinee special one week from tomorrow when they visit the rival Connecticut Sun at a special time, 11 a.m. Join Michael Grady and Roz Golden Woody for that one on Wednesday, July 10th. Again, 11 a.m. on my nine. It's the camp games. That's right, they're gonna bring them out. Of course. So Celebrity Row is what they call it here in Barclays. Matt Joe cheering on the home team. Hey, he shows up at a lot of New York team events and see the Knicks games. <laughs> Every night someone's here. What you're seeing now, I have a lot of favorite parts of the game day experience here at Barclays, but this is the wave. <laughs> and we can tell who, who's got rhythm and who doesn't just by this wave. <laughs> That's right. What side you are you on? <laughs> Yeah, it's a party here. It's a lot of fun. And those camp day games, you know, it's always so loud and, and fun. 
Got a nine-point game with 1.07 to go. Here are the next four games for the New York Liberty. They head to Indiana on Saturday. That's the next matchup. So you talked about some people feeling under the weather, some nicks and bruises. You've got some time to, to figure it out before Saturday. It feels like an eternity to have four days. You know, right, three, four especially days. with this schedule in the W. McBride puts it up. Still no points in a number of minutes for Minnesota. Just can't find a bucket right now. And they're forced to foul with less than a minute to go. New York continuing its push at the right time. And, and you know, New York could have gone the other direction. The momentum could have shifted after John Paul Jones got called for the technical foul. And then after that, she got called for the, the offensive foul. And, and New York, you, you know, it could have gone one way or the other there. And they responded very well after that. I think Minnesota lost the wind in their sails when there was a lot of stoppages at the beginning of this quarter. Well, Sandy Brundello has talked about we have to find a way to grind out wins. There's always going to be multiple factors when you step on the floor between injuries and people not feeling well. And, you know, you're 19 games in, you're starting to feel the season. And in New York, any given night could be someone different. Right now, it's John Quill Jones hitting all scores with 21. And it's you know, important that we say that because she's had her struggles against Minnesota this season. And I think she's, she's made a statement like, I, I, yeah, I figured you out, Minnesota. That's right. Two players very well. with a double-double right now. John Cole Jones, Benajelina Hamilton will take a seat. That's been the key for this team. It's been the next one up. And on any given night, I mean, you want what you can get from the big three, but they've got a lot of weapons. Hard to stop them all and pick that poison. And Minnesota emptied their bench here. So both teams go into the bench. It's our first sighting of, of Diamond Miller this evening. She missed over 10 games with a knee injury, working her way back still. Yuha's on the drive. Well, good to see Diamond Miller back on the floor. I know that was tough for her. And Sabrina Onescu will dribble it out. Still a couple seconds difference between game clock and shot clock. And a 15 to two run to end the basketball game. And I mentioned that the New York Liberty are the best team in clutch time. And they showed it here tonight by playing together and disciplined, and they did not turn the ball over. That was a big key going into this. And they didn't shoot the ball great tonight, and they still pulled out the win, and that was because of their defense. That shows a lot for New York moving forward. New York holding Minnesota to 67 points. Remember, this is a team that usually averages 